Master Geo here with the next part of my Blu-ray DVD collection. But before we jump into the letter B, let's go back to one I s missed showing you with the letter A. It's one of my autographed ones. It's a DVD-R of Alfred Alpha Mixtape 2nd Edition. Um, I picked this up at a uh, Trauma Dance a couple of years ago. Trauma Dance is a film festival. It was held in Brooklyn. Um, the animation is really wild, it's raunchy, it's completely over the top, it's fucked up. Uh, which is all awesome, of course. Uh, Emily Yukis signed it for me. She's the uh, creator and does the animation for this. This shit fucking rules. She is awesome. She's mad cool. Okay, so anyway, let us go now to the next section, which we're going to be doing letter B to E. In my area, God, I already missed that store. Yeah, I really need to add Basket Case 3 to my collection. Have you guys seen The Beast Within? That movie is fucking awesome. I did a write-up about it on my site uh, a year or so ago. You guys should check it out. I love that film. Oh, you guys should check out my write-up and the movie. Uh, can somebody please release... Paramount, can you please release Beavis and Butthead to America on Blu-ray? Please... Better watch out. That movie has become one of my favorite Christmas horror flicks. Uh, last year I watched it twice in one month, actually. Um, I'd like to show you guys the uh, awesome um, Big Four Blu-ray. Uh, it's signed by uh, Frank Bello and Scott Ian from Anthrax. Um, this is one of my favorite concerts uh, that I own. Um, it's got my four favorite bands, so that would make sense. You know, Metallica, Slayer, Megadeth, Anthrax. Um, here we go. Yeah. Um, uh, now you're saying, why does... As to why I have Blade 2 both on DVD and Blu-ray, well, that would be because my DVD is signed. Ron Perlman himself. It was at a... The one and only Fangoria Chiller convention. Ron Perlman was really cool. Very nice guy. Um, my Blair Witch, which I don't even like this film as much as I once did. Really got worse as time went on. But nonetheless, it's signed by uh, Michael Williams. Uh, he was a nice guy. This was at a Fangoria convention. And speaking of Blair Witch, Blair Witch 2, which I actually enjoy more than Blair Witch 1, is signed by the absolutely gorgeous Kim Director. I met her last... Moving along with the letter B. Uh, if you're wondering why there's a space there, uh, I just had to move some stuff around. So a space ended up getting made. Um, really wish I had the blob on Blu-ray. I think there's an old Regions disc out there, which I plan to pick up one of these days. Blood Rain. I know it's not really a good film, but it is signed by one of the hottest women in the world, Kristana Loken. She was a sweetheart. I met her at a chiller. Blood sucking freaks. You do you know how happy I was when I finally picked up that Blu-ray? And speaking of stuff that I'm happy to own, Bloody Birthday, which um. This Severn Blu-ray is out of print. I have a couple of Severn Blu-rays, actually, that are out of print. I believe Burying the X to be terribly underrated, besides the fact that it's got, like, two super hotties in it. Um, that being um, Ashley Green and uh, Alexander Daddario. Uh, this was a Best Buy only exclusive. I really like that film. Uh, Blue is the Warmest Color is one of the few... Criter one of the very few Criterion movies I own that is not a horror film. Um, let's keep on moving down. Brain Damage, by the way, is my absolute favorite Frank Henenlotter film. Uh, Bring It On is one of the few comedies I own, and it really like sticks out in this sea of mostly violent and exp movies, uh, just action horror films, and that's like, Bring It On! Oh, I like Brandon. Um, Cabin Fever. Again, why do I own the DVD and Blu-ray? Well, because my DVD is signed. And this one is signed by uh, the gorgeous Serena Vincent, who uh, recently is uh, pregnant. 
so congrats to her. Um, yeah, I would like to upgrade Candyman to Blu-ray, but at the price that Screen Factory is asking for it, yeah, it's not going to happen anytime soon. Speaking of... As you kind of figured out, we're already on the letter C. Um, Castle Freak's such a good uh, Stuart Gordon film that I also think severely underrated. Kathy's Curse is hilarious. An, it, a great It's So Bad, So Good film. Uh, this is a, a really fun disc from Severin Films. Actually, on a lot of their releases. Uh, you should check out my site because I review Kathy's Curse. I had a blast writing up that review, by the way. Cat People. I love both the original and the remake. Um, of course, the original is better, but the uh, remake is a great film. Very sexy film. Uh, wonderful. I fucking love that film, alright? <laughs> and uh, I love it with Natasha Kinski. Uh, also, I love that cover. Yeah, it, Actually, I should note that I had picked this up with the intent of getting Natasha Kinski to sign it, but she had cancelled the Monster Mania she was supposed to appear in. Yeah, I'm still hoping that she will pop up. Um, I'll show you my Chasing Amy again, one of the few comedies I own, which is signed by Kevin Smith. No, I did not buy him, but I did pick it up at his comic shop. He has a couple of signed copies of some of his stuff there. Chocolate uh, is a good, mar very good martial arts film, actually. Uh, this is the first Blu-ray that I ever bought. I picked it up at a convention a co uh, several, several years ago. Uh, 2010, which was the year that I finally upgraded to Blu-ray. Just in case you can't see. Oh. Um, my return to uh, Nukem High is signed by several people. Uh, Lloyd Kaufman, when he signed it, he covered up a couple of autographs, but this one's awesome because I have a lot of autographs on it. It's one of my personal favorite trauma films, and I'm waiting for Volume 2 to hit Blu-ray, which I adored as well. I also have a review of that up on my site. Oh, let's go back up here. I wanted to point out Cobra, which is one of my favorite uh, Stallone films. Uh, I know there was a recent um, Screen Factory release of it. Uh, it was cool that Screen Factory's doing it, but without any deleted or unrated scenes, even just added simply as deleted scenes, no input from Stallone. The director has passed away. I just saw no reason to upgrade. Sorry. Speaking of upgrading, one film that I will definitely be upgrading is The Craft. Um, uh, I used to actually own that on Laserdisc. Uh, I'm looking forward to the Screen Factory Blu-ray, although it sucks. And none of the actresses, the four girl, main girls, are in it. Um, I'm very much looking forward to meeting Faruza Balk, one of my all-time biggest crushes at Monster Mania. Um... Cremains is a pretty good little uh, anthology film. Uh, Debbie Rashan signed this one for me. Uh, by this point, we were actually friends, so she wrote something really cool here. Um, it's a pretty fun little uh, anthology movie, I think, kind of forgotten by some pe by most people. So now we're on, obviously, the letter D. Um, Dark Angel, for those who do not know, is actually I Come in Peace, that awesome Dolph Lundgren movie where... Uh, the alien goes, I come in peace. And then Dolph Lundgren blows him up and says, And you go in pieces. Such a badass fucking movie, man. Um, now, as many of you know, I, of course, do cover the adult industry. But most of my adult films are kept separate from my uh, movie collection. Save for a couple. Um, reason why Dark uh, Chambers is kept is because it's signed by... Uh, the legendary Marilyn Chambers herself. She was a, such a sweetheart when I met her at a chiller. Uh, I was very heartbroken when she passed away, actually. But it's one of my most prized autographs, and so instead of putting that with the rest of the adult films hidden, I gladly keep it as part of my central collection. Um, Day of the Dead, again, why do I keep the DVD? Because it's signed. My Tom Savini. I said I have a lot of Tom Savini autographs because there was a point in time when he used to sign for free. 
move it down, we uh, see that uh, I have Dead Hooker in a trunk, which uh, was signed by both Sasuke twins. Again, at the same um, it was New York Comic Con, same place where I got American Mary signed at. Deadly Blessing was actually a blind buy after the passing of uh, Wes Craven. I think it's a decent little film. I was so glad when uh, Scream Factory finally put out... Well, Scream Factory put out... It's a person that actually... Fin company finally put out uh, Dead Ringers on Blu-ray. I have a rather large little Death Wish collection here. Um, the uh, Bronson Phil, uh, collection down there you see has Death Wish 2, 3, and 4. But I had to buy Death Wish 2 separately because it was the only way to get the uh finally to see the unrated cut uh, i'm a huge fan of death wish and i ended up buying the uh, remake as a blind buy when uh, fye was closing uh it's actually a pretty good film i saw it recently i quite enjoyed it uh let's actually go here and just show you that my debs is signed one of my favorite comedies is signed by the gorgeous jordana brewster that was at a um, Fangoria Weekend of Horrors. I love this because I get um, the Delta Force and uh, I get Missing in Action 1 and 2. I love Missing in Action 2. Love it. Okay, let's keep on with the letter D. Um, I, one of these days I do plan to upgrade my The Descent to uh, Blu-ray. It's one of my favorite recent horror. Uh, horror movies in the last, uh, what is it, 15 somewhat odd years, something like that. Uh, Devil's Advocate is actually one of my oldest DVDs. I got that as a freebie when I uh, when I received my first uh, DVD uh, player. The Devil's Bloody Playthings is autographed by uh, the, uh, the gorgeous Ruby LaRocca and also uh, the gorgeous... Zoe Moonshine. Um, that was at a chiller. Same thing as usual. If I kept the DVD, well, it's probably autographed. And this one is um, Devil Dreadjacks, which is my favorite Rob Zombie film, is autographed by William Forsythe, Ken Foree, the gorgeous Ginger Lynn Allen, and um, Sid Haig, all at uh, different conventions. Uh, Ginger, for what it was at a uh, an Exotica, uh, Die Hard 1 2, two of my favorite American action films of all time. Never uh, got around to upgrading Live Free or Die Hard on Blu-ray, as I only wanted the unrated cut. Um, there is no Die Hard after that movie. Uh, it just doesn't exist, sorry. Um, moving down, that's my Dracula collection one of these days. I do plan to upgrade my favorite Dracula film, Horror of Dracula to the recently released uh, Blu-ray, uh, Drag Me to Hell, which is signed by the very sweet and lovely Allison Lohman. Uh, her I met at a Monster Mania, it was just actually a few years ago. Um, we've got a couple of uh, exploitation flicks. Um, this one's signed by uh, Debbie Rashawn. And uh, Ruby LaRocca and Rachel Robbins. I used to buy a lot of Seduction Cinema films. Uh, this one signed by my friend Ruby LaRocca and uh, Misty Monday. Probably one of the most fun autographs I have is I got this. I got the fucking awesome and gorgeous uh, Andy Sandemus to sign this copy of Drive. She uh, does a little cameo in the film. And she told me that, she, that I was the first person to ever ask for a Drive ever to ask it to get signed by her. Uh, Easy A, one of the few comedies I own. I only paid a buck for it at uh, the FYE that was closing. I have to say that Dungeons & Dragons probably is one of the T cartoons from the 80s that holds up the best. I think it's Severely underrated. Um, I highly recommend uh, at least picking up this one. I know there was one that was released a couple of years ago with extra features and whatnot, but unfortunately I never got around to picking that up. So I did settle with that. 
Uh, my Emmanuel collection. Uh, Emmanuel, The Last Cannibals is my favorite. Um, that's a great release from uh, Shriek Show. Uh, I'm not, not Shriek Show. Uh, um, Severin. But I can't show you the cover because there's nudity and I don't want this to get fucking flagged on fucking YouTube. Um, Emmanuel Around the World is another awesome Emmanuel film. Um, it's actually a birthday gift from a friend of mine. And we'll conclude the letter E with these uh, couple of films here. Um, I love Eve of Destruction. Um, if you've never seen it, I highly recommend it. My Evil Dead collection, as per se. It was, why do I own two copies of Evil Dead 2? Because Evil Dead 2 is signed by fucking Bruce Campbell himself, man. Um, uh, someday, I guess I'll upgrade Army of Darkness to Blu-ray. Uh, it's by far my least favorite Evil Dead. I just recently picked up the uh, Evil Dead Director's Cut. This is a remake, that is. Uh, I love the Director's Cut. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. If you're a fellow fan of it, I think it's a fucking awesome movie. I hope one day we do get a uh, sequel to it. Fingers crossed, man. Fingers crossed. Um, do not have the original DI, unfortunately, because I think, I believe that is out of print. Uh, moving on down, and we end with one of my favorite uh, revenge films of all time, The Exterminator. When next we uh, pop up, we'll be doing the letter F. See you soon.